Thank you for watching this Dear Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll cover the important details of the Xero integration with Deer Inventory. Once Deer Inventory and Xero are connected, Deer Inventory becomes the central point of all inventory management within your business. This means that all inventory related purchases, sales, and manufacturing will be performed in Deer Inventory and then synchronized over to Xero. Before we proceed, note that you'll need to at least have a trial Xero account. The first step is needing to set up your accounts in Xero. The chart of accounts is a list of all accounts your organization has made available to record your transactions, and is important for classifying your transactions correctly and keeping your accounts accurate. Before starting your integration, some accounts must be created first in Xero. They'll then be imported into Deer when you first sync. You can view your chart of accounts in Deer by navigating to the chart of accounts within Settings, Reference Books, Financial, and Chart of Accounts. The following four accounts will already be created in Xero. Accounts Receivable, Accounts Payable, Sales Tax, Sales and Revenue. The additional required accounts will be Inventory Control, Inventory Discrepancy, Cost of Goods Sold, Supplier and Deposit Prepayments, and Customer Credits. The Inventory Accrual, Stock in Transit, and Gift Card Liability Accounts are optional accounts that can be created based on your accounting requirements. Now, let's look at how to create these accounts in Xero. First, navigate to the Chart of Accounts section, which is under Advanced in the Accounting module in Xero. Note that the interface in the Account Settings page may vary slightly depending on your country. The Chart of Accounts is loaded based on the industry that you specified when initially setting up Xero. Note that you may have to edit some account settings or create new accounts to make them compatible with the Deer required accounts. Next, select Add Account. Here, you can fill in the account details according to the account settings. The account setting details can be obtained from the Xero Integration Basics article in the Deer Knowledge Base. Make sure to verify that the tax settings for each account is correct according to your country. Be sure to consult with your accountant or bookkeeper if you are unsure of any of the settings to use. Then, save your changes and move on to creating your next account. Once you've added all the relevant accounts, you can access Deer and connect it to Xero. Deer can only map accounts between systems if they have the same settings. If you are missing an account, you can go back to Xero and create them. If you're setting up Deer for the first time, you'll need to enter the opening balances from your Xero accounts into Deer. If you already have a Deer account, then all you have to do is navigate to Integrations, and then select Xero. You'll then be asked to log into your Xero account if you're not already logged in. Select Connect to start the Xero Connection Wizard. The Xero Connect Wizard will then walk you through each of the settings and required data before enabling your Xero integration. To fully enable all of Deer's functionality, you can finish mapping the required and optional accounts. First, create any missing accounts in Xero if you haven't already. Synchronize your data, and then navigate to Settings, Reference Books, Financial, and Account Mapping. Then, select the equivalent accounts from the drop-down list and save your changes. Note that you can use Deer without completing the account mapping, but if you attempt to use functions that are linked to an unmapped account, Deer will report an error and not allow completing the operation. Now, let's see how the data flows between Deer and Xero. Chart of accounts, tax rules, and company addresses are created in Xero, and then sent to Deer. Any changes to the chart of accounts in Xero will be synced to Deer, noting that the chart of accounts is a read-only field in Deer. Tax rules are created in Xero and synced to Deer. Changes in either Xero and or Deer are synced both ways. Suppliers and customers will be synced with Xero contacts. Products created or updated in Deer are always pushed to Xero. Items and updates to items in Xero can optionally be exported to Deer. Purchase credit notes, purchase orders, credit memos, and sale credit notes in transaction journals are created in Deer and sent to Xero. All credit notes authorized in Deer will be exported to Xero, but won't be allocated against their invoices. Credit notes created in Xero are not picked up by Deer. Also, purchase orders can be optionally exported to Xero. Deer will create manual journals in Xero to reflect COGS, assembly, disassembly, 
stock adjustments, stock transfers, inventory write-offs, and purchase and sale manual journal transactions. Payments and refunds can be exported to or imported from Xero or sync both ways depending on the configuration settings. The following can be created in both systems and synced both ways. Sales, purchase payments or refunds, suppliers, customers, products and items, bills or purchase invoices, and sale invoices. Purchases or sale invoices authorized in Deer will be exported to Xero and invoices authorized in Xero will be picked up by Deer. Within the Xero integration page, you can control whether your integration is enabled or disabled, whether payments are pushed to Xero or pulled from Xero, and modify any other integration settings. We recommend taking a look at these settings before putting through any new transactions. You can find a complete list of the integration settings and their functionality in the Deer knowledge base. You can also view the transaction history on the Xero synchronization page by selecting the Sync History link. All the transactions are displayed along with their respected status. Clicking a link in the What to Sync column will display the relevant page in Deer. For example, clicking on a product name will display the product's page in Deer. You may further narrow down the results by status or entity using the filter function in the top right. You can commence a sync to zero in a number of different ways. From the sync history screen, you can select the start synchronization button, and from anywhere in Deer, you can select the zero drop down in the top left hand corner. Here, you'll see a list of items pending sync, as well as the Sync Now button. You can set up synchronization of changes in Deer Inventory to Zero at a convenient time by enabling and setting up Auto Sync. To do this, on the Zero Integration Settings page, toggle the Auto Synchronization option. In the Auto Sync section, select the start date, start time, and frequency of the synchronization. Then, select the alert type for when errors are detected during synchronization. If you choose Email, enter the mailing list to which the alert will be sent. If you choose Internal, you'll be informed in the errors via the notification icon in the top right. Finally, click Save. Note that a manual synchronization should not be performed during scheduled system maintenance. The sync will not be triggered and any auto sync will be postponed until the next scheduled time. When an auto sync is triggered, only the pending records at the time will be synced. Any previously failed records will not be synced. Also, users will not be able to manually sync while an auto sync is in progress. Likewise, auto sync cannot be started while manual sync is in progress. Now let's look at consolidating sales on export. To configure consolidated sales in Deer, scroll down to the consolidated sales section of this page, and then select the channel for which you want sales to be consolidated. Sales can be consolidated and grouped per channel before exporting them to zero. When you select a channel for sales consolidation, Instead of individual invoices or credit notes, all invoices and credit notes with the same date, currency, tax inclusive or exclusive indicator, shop name and sales channel will be consolidated into a single daily invoice or credit note. These consolidated documents are then exported to zero during a manual or automatic sync process with a consolidated name format. Next, click the View Consolidated Invoices and Credit Notes link to open the consolidated sales page. On the consolidated sales page, all consolidated sales and credit notes will be listed. You can search for a specific sale record by typing either the record's document number in Deer or the consolidated number in Xero. A few important things to note. The period for consolidation is always one day. Payments, refunds and customer credits will be consolidated and added in Deer. Zero payments from consolidated sales won't be imported into Deer. You'll need to process these payments manually in Deer. Void or undo cannot be performed on consolidated invoices in Deer since these operations will cause discrepancies in the exported data. You need to create a credit note or an invoice to offset the sales rather than void or undo. Next, let's look at performing cost of goods sold maintenance. You can manually export COGS transactions or recall previous exports for a specific period using the option in the cost of goods maintenance section. Simply specify the time you want to adjust and then select either the Export Cogs to Zero or Void Cogs in Zero button, depending on the action you're taking. Next, let's look at connecting to a different integration and disconnecting from your existing Zero organization. If you've decided to connect Deer to a different Zero organization, click the Change Organization button on the integration page. You'll then be walked through the Zero Connect wizard to finish the account and tax mapping. 
This is essentially the same process as connecting to zero for the first time. If you decide that you want to remove the integration between Deer and Zero permanently, simply click the Disable Integration button on the integration page. Lastly, let's look at how to export historical data from Deer to Zero. You can export historical data from Deer to Zero, which registers all documents and related items such as products, vendors, and customers. You might use this feature if you want to export all data to Zero for a particular date range. Simply select a start date and then click Export Historical Data. Also, a reconciliation report between Deer and Zero can be run, and that allows you to see transaction tallies between the two systems. To generate the Deer Zero reconciliation report, navigate to Reports, Financial Reports, Reconciliation with Zero. On the Zero Reconciliation Summary page, the default start and end date are set to the current month and year. Change these dates to suit your requirements before selecting Update to apply your changes. The report below will then show each account in Deer and Zero and the differences in the overall value for the selected period. You are then able to produce a more detailed transaction reconciliation by selecting the desired accounts to be covered in the report. To select all accounts, check the utmost left box on the grid. Once you've selected your desired accounts, select the Reconcile button to generate the report. This will then create a report and send it to your email containing the breakdown of the transaction differences between Zero and Deer on the account selected. And that concludes this video on the Zero integration.